Do the crime do the time? Far from it. In every county statewide, a suspect busted on the street is increasingly less likely to come before a judge and jury. That's what Always Investigating's Gina Mangieri uncovered. Tonight, she's breaking down the numbers. Gina? Well, I found the number of criminal cases filed in every circuit statewide has plummeted. The rate of convictions is up. But public safety advocates and lawmakers say the trend sends the wrong message to victims and offenders. Always investigating analyzed a decade of criminal and court records and found the number of cases charged and taken to court has plummeted 21% in the past decade. A range of 17% fewer criminal cases charged on Oahu to a decline of 41% fewer on Kauai. Crime rates are down over the period, but not by nearly as much. Violent crime, for instance, is down about 8% over the decade. I think the victim des deserves to have the day in court, their day to be brought before um, someone who's done something that hurt them in some respect, that they should be held accountable. I asked all county prosecutors for a response. Kauai's told me changes to the law and court rulings also affect how and when prosecutors charge certain types of cases. Things like drug decriminalization or classifying more crimes as misdemeanors instead can bend the odds in an offender's favor. For those cases that do get filed with the judiciary, conviction rates are up. Prosecutors are winning anywhere from four to six in 10 cases, where it used to be as low as a 19% conviction rate a decade ago. You gotta ask uh, if the success rate is going up. It's like a lot of things. If you want to increase the success rate, you don't take the ones that are kind of iffy. You take the ones that are more likely you can get a, get a, uh, a jury to convict. The victim watching at home yep. might say, do I have to be a slam dunk just to, to get a try in that's court? That's exactly right. I, I, so that's exactly what I mean. I mean, from the victim standpoint, I think they want to know that if someone was arrested and the, the evidence is not... 100%, you know, it's maybe 85, 90%. I think victims still want to see the, those cases pursued in the interests of, ju of justice. Is there a solution for it that can hold everybody along that chain of command more accountable for taking a case as it was really happening on the street and charging it that way in court? It's got to um, be a combination of things. The people have to call 911. They have to report the incidents to police. Next, the police officer have to have to investigate it thoroughly and then when it's brought to the prosecutor's office the prosecutor's office has to take some chances and maybe take some cases that may not look the greatest and that, that's the best thing they can do to to stop this because it creates a total environment of the criminals don't fear being prosecuted we looked at the Honolulu robbery cases from the summer and the recent crime spike on Oahu. In August, 75 robbery reports, 11 police arrests, 9 prosecutor charges. In December, 90 robbery cases, 14 arrests, and 14 charges. Prosecutors screening may reject a case or criminal charges could be reduced or amended. The Honolulu Police Department points out some of the recent robbery arrests have been given right to the feds to get tougher charges or police get them off the street on a different type of criminal charge. But the steady decline we found in all kinds of criminal court cases has lawmakers asking questions. But the only thing we can do is probably hold hearings to say, okay, bring the stats and bring this equip uh, um, cases that you have. Let us see why is it that this disparity in this. And I think uh, that might give us a clear idea of what's going on. We need to look into this further because what we certainly don't want to happen, see happen, is have police uh, take good arrests to prosecutor's office and prosecutors, you know, choose not to pursue them for whatever reason. Uh, even if it's on borderline cases, I think the, the, it's serious enough, uh, the crime situation, that we ought to take a good look at whether we're missing some cases or whether, you know, we're just not taking the chances we should be. Now, more details are online from our interviews about what's contributing to the court case decline, in-depth data from police and prosecutors, and how criminal penalties could be toughened this legislative session. Back to you.